so safe to say that you've been disappointed in the Obama administration since it took office? I've been disappointed in the whole idea of our government and the things that they've been doing a hundred years ago. You know, my beef is, okay, um, the federal government is supposed to be Bifford and Banner, who's my mother and father, who adopted me out of the foster care system. The federal government is supposed to be Bifford and Banner to the 500,000 foster kids who are annually inside the foster care system. I just found out that 70-some-odd percent of inmates in jail have been through the foster care system. So my beef with the government and the president and the leaders is this. You took out federal. Look, just give me $300 million to, to, to give to the educational system. And I'm going to stop our young people from going to jail, from selling drugs, from being thugs, from having to shoot each other and having to do stick-ups. Take an example from the hip-hop records, not of this generation, but of 25 years ago. And here's something people don't know about. The reason why I named Checked Obama is because they made this big thing when Obama got elected, right? Which was cool. It was okay, right? But when Obama got elected, my publicist started getting emails and texts and messages from everybody saying, Obama is the physical representation of what Run DMC and the old school rap has been talking about over 30 years ago. And if you don't believe me, it's true. We've been saying what these leaders have been talking about. In 1982, the Treacherous Three, featuring Kumo D, who battled LL. I know you know your hip-hop history. Kumo D and LL had this big battle beef. Before that, Kumo D was one in one of the most groundbreaking rap groups ever, but nobody knows about it, the Treacherous Three. Obama's campaign was called Yes We Can, right? I was in Japan, and when people was jumping around, you know, fellow, okay, it's cool that a black man got elected. I'm not happy I live in this age, in this generation to see that happen, right? But I was doing an interview, and I had said from a hip-hop mindset, because people didn't know where I was coming from, yeah, it's cool that Obama's president, but he don't impress me. And when I said that, everybody in the room got real quiet. And then I had looked at their, you know, I looked at their expression. I said, okay, let me explain myself. Obama's campaign was called Yes, We Can, right? 25 years ago, before you even heard, heard, heard Obama utter that, the treacherous 3MC sampled the Pointer Sisters record called Yes, We Can Can. Which went like this, do ba do ba do do ta kum do ka do do ba do ba do, and the chorus was, I know we can make it, I know that we can, I know darn well that we could work it out. Oh yes we can, can yes we can, can yes we can. So the treacherous trees sampled this record, yes we can, can in 1982, and Cool Mo D of the treacherous tree along with L.A. Sunshine and a special K. All you listeners, go to YouTube and. Um, YouTube up Treacherous Tree, Yes We Can Can. Their record opened just like this 25 years ago. Evil destruction, tax deduction, price inflation rocks the nation, and unemployment is on the rise. It's hard to find a compromise, and if it lasts like this for a long enough time, won't lead to nothing but a higher level of crime. So we say... And then those three MCs went on to rap about the conditions that they were living in in 82. Here we are, 20-something, some odd years later, after all of these promises, and the same things that those cool Modena rapped about in 82 exist now. So I'm tired of saying I'm an elected Republican and Democrat. We should change the whole election system and let people who really care about people and conditions run so that we can really vote in place somebody who will become the most powerful person on the earth, in the world, because they won't be afraid to be a real leader. So the, the record noise revolution is just a rock rap version of what the message was about of what Africa Bambana's Planet Rock was about, Africa Bambana and the Zulu Nation, and what Kumo D and the Treacherous Threes, Yes We Can Can, is about. It's about the artists. I found this out a couple of years ago. 
every revolution begins with the art. The first thing they do when they want to control people and suppress people and oppress people and hold us down from correcting the things that's wrong with the world we live in, before they bring the bombs and the guns and start killing and illing on us, the first thing they direct the, the, the military to do is go into the museums and take all the paintings off the wall. Go into the museums and destroy all the sculptures. Go shut up all the artists and the painters and the writers and the playwrights and the litter, the guys writing the book and the dudes making those records. The true leaders of our nation sing, they write, they perform plays, they do spoken word, they create sculptures, and they paint. So the noise revolution is about the people who do know possibly way more than the politicians know about what we really need to get done with those guys promise us they're going to do.